starting in about 10 minutes as through the news trucks are on the way. CNN, USA Today, Eric Cobb, New York Times, uh, and we're going to mention many other publications that are here today for this event. Thank you so much. Well, thank you so much for coming today in audio center. I'm Tom Campbell, corporate director, chief technologist, and uh, I'll make it very short, but I want to thank you. This is a long drive for some of you. A long airplane flight was me that flew in from New York City. Maybe Rebecca and others that came from the East Coast to cover this event. Twice Magazine is here. I mentioned USA Today. Uh, we have uh, CBS here. It's, uh, it's, it's just been a phenomenal morning here. So I want to thank you for making the time and showing the interest. Video Audio Center has been in business over 35 years. We've been introducing technology and been the first ever HDTV. But today is truly a moment of history as Sony is making the news around the world of really meaningful new technology which you're about to see. Okay, there's a special surprise that Joseph and no one knows about. CE Pro Magazine every year rates the top integrators and installers in the nation. And you give an example, number one was ADT nationwide. Number one, 11 years in a row, congratulations, well done, Jason Nutt, Editor-in-Chief, CE Pro. Will you take that top copy now? So, let me do this right now. I'm going to introduce you, to take real quickly so the news people know what's going on. I'm going to introduce Joseph as the owner and founder, along with his brother, Mayor Akkazaz. Then we're going to bring up Mike Trusubo, who's the President and Chief Operating Officer of Sony. Then we've got a very special guest from Sony Pictures. So we're going to be doing a demonstration with Philip Jones. Without further ado, Joseph Akkazaz, founder and owner of Video and Audio Center. Joseph! Has 36 years in business. Between me and Tom, we have brought the first Discman, the first Betamax, and the on and on. Hey, thank you so much. By the way, Richard Berger, I just want to mention, and I'm sorry about this, Richard, thank you for coming all the way out. I didn't swap to do all the motion pictures and everything. But uh, Senior Vice President, Worldwide Digital Strategy and Advanced Platform, Sony Pictures Home Entertainment. And we'll let me out in a minute. I want to make sure the press has your title and everything because this is very important, the marriage of content and the technology. And content drives this product. Without this product, content means nothing. But also without content, our product doesn't mean nothing. So somebody's really taking the leadership role, and there's no question between content and cutting edge product. So without further ado, the President and Chief Operating Officer of Sony, the one and only, Mike Pesuto. Across all of the audio center, it's just a great place to be and a wonderful place to showcase Sony's technologies like never before. So thank you so much. It's really awesome. Thank you very much. Thank you. I want to thank Richard on a great movie on behalf from Sony Pictures. July 7th in the theater will be Spider-Man Homecoming. But thanks to Richard, we're going to show you a couple of scenes and look how good it looks on this TV. Can we do that? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Okay, we got a license to show it. Here we go. The sound is coming from the actual blacks. There are no speakers in that set. Kiss for water. Wow, what do you think? We have an in-stock ample supply. This is better than being in the movie theater itself. Richard, thank you for making that possible. Michael, thank you. And I'd like to introduce you to the Vice President of Sony. Well, what's the new title, Bill? What's the top product information man? Product information manager. How about Amber Philip Jones? So what we're going to do here is let me go back and go back to a couple of things and we're going to talk about why this TV exists and what makes this program exist special why we're so proud of it. The first thing, we got asked a lot to make an OLED, a consumer OLED. This is our first large consumer OLED. We made an OLED for consumer applications several years ago with OLED Xbox. We are the leader in professional OLED monitors. We have a display called the BBM X300. It is the master reference monitor. We won an Academy Award for the advancement of filmmaking for that particular OLED display. But however, that technology is in that display is only, can only be scaled up to about 30 inches. And we were looking and working until we can get a lot of that feel that we get from a professional display in a consumer display. So we've taken our 10 years of expertise when it comes to video processing.
us this thing, how to drive an OLED panel in a professional application, and we brought a lot of that technology here. So why are people asking for OLEDs? What makes these OLEDs so special? Well, there's a couple of things. First thing is a consistent picture. And LCD can give you a great picture with you sit directly in front of it. But it, but it does have a change in color and contrast if you do not sit, if you sit in, over in the corner or over in the love seat. So this picture is consistent. Inky blacks, absolute blacks, rich colors, regardless of where you're sitting in the room. So that's a real huge benefit of knowing. The next thing is each pixel, each sub-pixel is self-illuminated. So you ink the blacks, it can reproduce blacks that you just cannot or would be incredibly difficult to reproduce on an LCD display. So if you love that deep, rich black, if you're looking to replace your plasmas, you like that look, this is the ultimate 4K HDR television set for you. So OLEDs are great devices. So why this one? Well, when we go to our engineers, we went back to our engineers and designers and said, hey, we're going to give you a new panel, an OLED panel, and go back to the drawing board, erase the way you make a TV, and build the TV you wish you could make. Don't worry about what it looks like, don't worry about how you, let's just make your dream television set. So they thought about it, they said, number one, an image without distraction. What does that mean? Most TVs have a stand, a grill, something to distract you from what you're watching. If you look at this screen, it is all picture. With the exception of a very tiny bezel, there is no stand, there is no grip. Why? Because that is will distract you from what you are looking at. So the goal is to give you an image that is all picture. We all struggle with the big box versus the big screen. We all want the big box. But we don't want the, we, want, we all want the big picture, but we don't want the big box. Now I get the, the smaller I make the chassis, the smaller I, the, and less noticeable I make the television set, the more you can be, become immersive in The next thing is, well if I remove the grill, and I remove the stand, how do I get sound out of it? Because normally the sound fires from the bottom, or it fires off the speakers on the side. So how do I make sound? So they said, well, why do you have to have speakers in a television set? Sony's making glass speakers for a while. Right now you can buy a nice little glass um, speaker that's a lamp. We made a speaker called the Soundtina about a decade ago. It's about six foot tall. And the thing that resonates glass to make sound. So we've been making glass speakers for a while. We just could not use that technology in a display. Why? Because the LCD has a front layer, an LCD, a diffusion layer, a backlight, and a back camera. Too many layers, you can't resonate it with it. And all that is just it acts like a sheet of glass. So just like if I take a, a uh, champagne glass and I strike it with a little metal fork and it goes ting, I can make sound from glass. So we took that technology and developed this. So now this, the, the panel itself generates 90 and more than 90% of what you hear. There is a rear firing subwoofer in the set to enhance the bass. But most of what you hear comes directly from the screen. And as Mike said, that adds to the immersive experience. As these TVs get bigger and bigger, the sound gets further and further from the image. It becomes disconnected. The singer sings from here, but the sound comes way over here, or way, or way over to the sides. Now, the image and the sound comes from the screen. If I look outside a window, there is more color, clarity, and contrast. We've given you that with HDR, but also what else comes to that window? The sound. So in order for it to be immersive and realistic, you have to have the sound come from the screen as well. So that is where this technology comes from. Now, so, so that's why this design exists the way it is. The set can be, of course, placed on a stand, or it can also be wall-mounted. The way it works is it's almost like, I think of it as a painting on an easel. If it's sitting on a stand, I open the easel and I put it on a stand. When I wall mount it, I basically close the easel, put my wall mount brackets on it, and hang it like I would hang a traditional television set. So lots of flexibility. So amazing new design, amazing new set, uh, sound, but the one thing that we will not, and we will, we will not sacrifice, we will never sacrifice, is picture quality. We've taken all of our know-how from the professional side of building OLEDs, as well as our video processing that we have developed for television sets like the Z9D, and we designed that to maximize the full potential of an, LC, of an OLED display. So let me give you 
give you a couple of ones that really will matter to the average consumer. The first thing, this set has a brain that has two databases in it. One database looks for um, detail and contrast to do your up conversion and upscale. The other one looks for noise and to reject. A lot of people want an OLED because of its infinite black. But when you look at a lot of broadcasts, you'll notice that there's a lot of noise in that broadcast. You don't want that noise there because that takes away from your black. So this TV can differentiate between detail and noise, enhance the detail, and reject the noise. When you watch your regular broadcast, it takes all of it and it up converts it to near HDR quality. It looks, at each, it looks at each frame of each image, divides those frames into different objects on screen, and applies a different contrast curve to each object. What does that mean? You can see details in the clouds and in the highlights, but at the same time, see the weave of my jacket when I'm standing in the shadow, which is what HDR is supposed to give me. So we are quite proud of our picture performance. We are quite proud of the, of the design, and I, and, and I think that it shows that our, our um, innovation when it comes to things such as um, the sound technology. Um, we always say Sony is a lens to litter room uh, company. We work closely with the studios and make the cameras. We work with the broadcasters. But all that hard work, we want you to see when you get it home. No one has more skin in the game when it comes to 4K and HDR than Sony. Because if you don't get a more immersive and a more amazing video experience, you're not going to buy my camera, you're not going to go see my movie, and the broadcast is not going to switch over. So we got to make sure that what we're, the hard work that we do, you get to see. So what we're going to do is this set today is available in two sizes. We have the 55, which is right over here, as well as the 65. Both sets will be selling today, so you can take one of these home and one of the very... Right now! Yeah, we can take one of those! 50% off! And as we go along, what happens is... Our friends at Sony Pictures have provided us with several pieces of material, as well as the professional group. So, we already saw Spider-Man. Another clip that I really like that we'll play once we get started is a movie called Billy Lynn. And it's the last one. Billy Lynn shows our commitment to pushing the envelope. It is the world's first 4K, 120p, 3D movie. In order to shoot that movie, we have to develop a new recorder for the directors and the cinematographers to actually shoot. We have to make a camera for them, we have to make a recorder for them. And the Blu-ray is the world's first 4K 60p HDR Blu-ray. It's the only 4K 60p HDR Blu-ray. It's a Sony title using Sony cameras, and it's a Sony 4K UHD Blu-ray. So we are constantly pushing the envelopes to make a better picture. And you'll see it today. So thank you very much, Tom. Can you play it a little bit for a second? Yeah, I can actually play it. So what makes this movie so special is the fact that it's 4K 60p. Smooth motion. Most movies are shot in 24p. This is shot in 60. And what you notice is the action looks more lifelike because there is no blur to try to hide it. It looks more like reality. So let's take a look.
Yes, thank you very much. I want to congratulate Video Audio Center and the Sony. I've been here many years and I know you're number four in the States, but you're number one in Beverly Hills. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, just a moment. You know from where? San Diego. You know from San Diego. How do you hear about this? Can I ask this radio? San Diego, what are you here for? For the first 65 on the phone. You're going to buy the 65 inch right now? Right. Uh, Deliver it. Well, congratulations. My credit card is checked. Miss Bull wants to buy two stories.